Today, we're going to be tying the weighted rabbit hair leech. Begin your fly by adding a weighted cone to your hook, placing it in the vise, and then attaching your thread. After you've attached your thread, wrap your thread to the back of the hook to be able to provide a base for your fly to be solid on the hook. After you've selected a rabbit hair strip of the color that you want to use, attach it to the hook by splitting the hair with a bodkin and placing it on the back of the hook near the bend. Wrap it a few times over the rabbit hair to attach it firmly to the hook and get ready to wrap it forward. Wrap your thread over the shank of the hook to just behind the cone. Throw in a half hitch and hang it over a bobbin holder if you have a chance. Then begin wrapping your rabbit strip over the shank of the hook, away from you, relatively tightly and over the top of itself as you move it forward to give as much volume to your leech as possible. Throw in a couple extra wraps right behind the cone to add some volume to the fly and allow you to use less dubbing as you create the head of the fly. After you've tied off the rabbit strip, clip it and prepare your thread to be able to add dubbing. Choose a hare's ear dubbing with some synthetic material mixed in that matches the color of the rabbit strip on your fly. Some anglers like to use a color of dubbing that accentuates it or is brighter. Put plenty of dubbing on your thread so that you can wrap and fill the area behind the cone to keep it from moving around. Hold the rabbit hair strip back and wrap your dubbing right behind the cone to fill the area well. Once you've wrapped your dubbing on, tighten the dubbing on the thread to be able to finish off the dubbing behind the head. After whip finishing your fly, clip off the thread and get ready to glue it. Use either a head cement or a cyanoacrylate glue. This is going to allow your fly to be more durable and to be able to last longer and be able to be used for multiple fish. After this, you're ready to take it off the vise and go fishing.